We are this essay. This is High Priestess Ashodhara Singh. Welcome, you are welcome to your weekly reading for April 2024. In this video, we are covering the third week of April 2024, starting from April 16th to April 22nd. All right. Uh, we will uh, cover the first part. Will be the central theme for this week. Then we'll have four sets. The first set will be a general uh, set. The second one will be for health. The third will be for wealth. and the fourth for relationships so let's see what do you have in your central theme you've pulled out the waxing crescent moon that says have faith in your dreams the card of confidence and the king of fire the king of wands all right let's take it one at a time so the waxing crescent makes all the sense because the fourth week of april is when you'll be seeing the full moon so the waxing crescent as you know the shape of the moon the crescent as it increases it's waxing and as it decreases it goes vain uh, it wanes right it it reduces waxing is increasing so in this case uh, you will be put to the test your your conviction and your faith in your aim what you are working towards what you want will be tested um, don't deviate don't doubt yourself don't doubt the process of the universe because it looks like it's just a test and leave it at that only if you have faith in what you want will you be able to convince others as well as the universe that it's worth it in terms of time energy effort and money so um this is a typical uh, leo card so uh, good sense of loyalty uh, in terms of your loyalty to others and vice versa will be displayed that's a good thing um you are going to be you are going to have to display your confidence and literally showcase it in places and times where it is required and is the need of the hour having said that you can also be overconfident you can also be um um sh- literally like showing off in terms of speaking too highly about your plans or too highly about yourself try and curb that there may also be um you displaying doses of judging other people oh my god if i were in that person's shoes i'd never do that or being opinionated about a person or a situation so avoid these habits because they are low vibes and it's a karmic backlash that you'll ask for okay all right the king of fire again you you uh, you have masculine energy here this speaks about focus 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 of course you will be motivated uh, you are going to Uh, show your ambition you are going to have a certain amount of charisma which is great um it's a very very good card um you are going to be active um you will be getting advice from someone who is creative someone uh, you trust and uh, you need to pay attention to what is being said even if it is something you may not want to hear all right because it is going to be something that it will be beneficial to you especially in the short run in the near future all right let's do the first selection the general one and the general uh, set has four cards like i promised you you have the 6 of wands one of my favorite cards the 9 of swords not one of my favorite cards the emperor and the fool card right little story right here for you so um let me see if i can place them together okay let's take it one at a time okay so remember viewer this is the general theme for the third week of april 2024 if you want to have a reading done get in touch with us to uh, have a reading a personalized reading from one of our uh, readers and while i'm telling you if something resounds with you then you can have one of our magical items they're all displayed uh for you uh you know metallic in terms of silver you have coins you have dragon spells um and you have wooden items made of mango wood okay all right let's get back to this card there is something that you have worked towards that now will be showing you signs of you gaining some sort of achievement this is a victory card this could be in your personal life or your professional life but there seems to be something in which you have won okay 
whether it is big or small it doesn't matter but here you're being advised to enjoy it this is a very good high vibe card so don't shy away from it it's don't flaunt it okay so don't show off is what i'm saying but at the same time congratulate yourself on this victory and express gratitude for it now weirdly this card has come which means there could be another aspect of your life in which you might be a little stressed out uh, you might be getting sleepless nights this might also be a bout of insomnia there are many reasons for insomnia here it doesn't necessarily have to be you're tensed or anxious it might be that you're sleeping too much in the afternoon because of which you're not sleeping in the evenings so or slight disbalance in your routine maybe you have a lot of time in your hands because of which you're overthinking and then you're psyching yourself out possible um maybe you're uh, having a lot of caffeine uh, in, you know drinks with ca like coffee or tea things that will keep you awake even apple keeps you awake by the way so maybe it's the food that you're eating the drinks that you're taking that are keeping you awake uh maybe you're sleeping really really late in the night so your biorhythm your sleeping pattern is disturbed this is a card that speaks about your health directly and your sleeping pattern directly why is it important because if your sleeping pattern is not right your body malfunctions your mind malfunctions you're not able to take care of simple decision making simple routine acts of the day and you end up um lashing out saying things you don't mean and not getting the job done right why go through all that try some deep breathing try some meditation uh, warm milk and turmeric works for some people having it in the night whatever you can try try but please fix this and if there's something worrying you address it don't fly fly to uh, fly away from it and don't run away from it you need to address the issue and if you need to remove it and increase your vibe you should have a garden spell done you do it over the weekend the emperor card again lot of masculine energy uh, as you can see um, you could be a female also but here we are talking about active energy so this says that you could be an aries or dealing with one this card also means that you are taking decisions at this point of time in your life keeping a male uh, adult who could be a mentor or a family member who's action oriented in your life it's also possible that you are trying to secure the future of the next generation could be your uh, younger siblings could be your offsprings could be your nephew niece um your protege etc right um this card also in at times implies that you are being very active um engaged in everything that's happening in your life and you are not in the back seat you're pretty much driving the vehicle which means that uh, you'll be moving from one point to another really quickly you know in a flash in a snap and uh, that could also drain you out in terms of energy if there are some of you who are trying very hard to ensure that they are at one place uh, at in in many places at one time remember spreading yourself thin is not good for health or your mind okay it will make you a little jittery the fool card is an interesting card that says that uh, you could be in a situation where you are overthinking things and it's possible that you're being asked to trust the universe trust your gut and take that leap of faith um tell yourself that the universe has my back i am going to go ahead and uh move forward in this particular uh, aim of mine in this particular path of mine all right it could be any aspect of your life all right let's move on to the next um set of cards here we have money so oh sorry we have health right so this is the health one uh here you have the justice card we have the page of swords the seven of coins or the seven of pentacles and the king of wands interesting all right in terms of health let's see how i can help you all right viewers so um well first of all looking at the spread here I am going to ask you to look after your crown chakra, your third eye chakra and your root chakra. So ensure that you're sitting straight at all times, your knees and your back is fine, it's not hurting. Um have a lot of water, have a lot of uh, citrus based juices etc. Um don't strain your eyes because some of you may have really really bad headaches and if you do have your eyes checked, see your intake of fluids, right? 
um, and try and avoid too much of social media. I know you all are into it nowadays. Um, okay, let's begin with the first one. Justice card uh, tells me you could be a Libran or dealing with one. This card also means there is a lot of balance that has to be maintained in your health, um, the health sphere of your life, which means there might be something that you need to have checked, yourself checked. Now don't panic. Uh, it could be something very simple like your digestive system. It could be very simple like, uh, you know, migraines or headaches coming and going. Um, or it could be something like um, a part of you malfunctioning, not, pro not you know, working properly. Um, it could be your irregular periods, cramps, um, pains in the bodies here and there. You need to have it checked. That's one um, meaning of this card in terms of health. Another meaning is that you are gaining too much of knowledge and psyching yourself in the process. I know, again, a lot of you Google the symptoms and then it says, oh, you have migraines. Pakka, you have brain tumor. And the next thing you know, you get stressed up, your blood pressure shoots up and then you're like, I can't breathe. I'm stressed out. Why? Because you got an overdose of knowledge which is not applicable to you. First of all, let me tell you, getting information on the net is not a reliable source. It's just information. Leave it at that, right? You need to go to the source and have yourself checked if you're not feeling good. But don't hurt yourself. Don't be your worst enemy. Balance out the information that you have with the right form of treatment if, God forbid, something has to be treated. All right? Page of Swords tells me that you will have to watch your words. Uh, please do some calming and breathing exercises because looks like in the third week, you are going to have to open your fists, take some deep breaths, gulps, okay? Exhale it out. Please try vagus nerve exercises. I just had a meeting today where I told my readers to do vagus nerve exercises. It's very, very effective, but you need to do some calming exercises because Either you will be sending out harsh messages or you'll be receiving them. Either which ways, if you're the receiving end or the giving end, it is not something that is good for you in terms of health. It hurts your aura. So take care of that, okay? Calming and breathing exercises. Remember that. Go for a walk, listen to music, see something funny, but snap out of it. Seven of coins. So you have feminine energy in seven of coins. Great. So you are going to be thinking about saving a bit. Maybe you're a little guilty about uh, uh, doing a little... Uh, uh, shopping or retail therapy like they call it and uh, it's possible that you're thinking about saving now it's possible that you're thinking about increasing your savings or finding ways to increase uh, for a good interest rate, uh, rate to increase your savings either which ways that's also something that will be on your mind uh, maybe you paid a lot of tax um, in April uh, is what you will be thinking of in terms of saving okay um, king of wands this is definitely Leo energy so you'll be looking at loyalty we are looking at pride. We are looking at displaying uh, all your goods and all your the, the things that you've accumulated. Uh, and these are all assets, okay, material things. A beautiful phone, um, a lovely car, a new, a new outfit, a new dress. Don't, don't go by the, the energy is male, yes, but don't go by the gender. You could be a female also. But here we are looking at, you know, something pretty, something that looks opulent that you are going to uh, display or you'll feel that, you know, if I have this, I'm going to feel better about myself. In such a situation, you need to tell yourself that that initial attraction will eventually die down and then you'll think, oh my God, if I get this, like this is a fresh water pearl, okay? Um, so, you know, if I get this fresh water pearl, I'm going to feel so good about myself. And after a while, um, the charm wears off because you're seeing it every day. It looks better in the shop window. So then you move on into something else. So please have your um, self-love um, and positivity meter checked. Of course, we have dragon spells for it. Remember, if you need something else to make you feel better and you don't feel better by yourself, then there is something that needs to be addressed. All right. Okay. Let's move on. Now that we are done with health to the wealth section. Right. So... Um, you have the three of wands. The fool card has hopped back again. And you have two queen of coins or queen of pentacles. So this we will address 
I'll keep them right here. It will be easy to understand, right? So three of wands here tells me that you have decided on the path that you're going to walk on uh, in terms of money. So if you've gotten a job, offer, promotion, uh, some of you might even be moving near the water. Uh, some of you are planning uh, to actually go ahead and make the change. But at the same time, you're not making any movement towards it. Where is the planning? You may be calling people up or they may be calling and congratulating you. But why are you static? Why are you standing? Address it. My concern here is you should be planning now about the move. What are you waiting for? Is there something that's worrying you that's nagging you that you because for some of you it's possible that you are a little unsure about this place you are a little unsure about the movement in terms of support in terms of financial structure planning etc so whatever it is please figure it out because you need to make this move now this is a very good chance that you've gotten get rid of the other things that will that are like a ball and chain around your ankle and remember, the only constant in life is change. The more flexible you are in terms of adapting to this change, the more successful you will be in life in every which way, right? So the Fool card has come here again in terms of wealth. We are talking about, please don't take unnecessary risks that, you know, third week of April, I got the Fool card. Oh yeah, I can go and buy a lottery ticket. I don't want to hear that. I'm completely against lottery tickets. It's not hard-earned money and it's against the rules of blue magic, by the way, which is money magic. So the fool card is here to say in terms of investment, in terms of buying and selling, in terms of uh, your job promotion, getting a job, anything to do with money in your life and finances. There is a, this is an opportunity for you to be able to walk the path with the confidence that the universe has your back since you have taken this leap of faith. You are not to overthink because then it will cause temporary delays in the movement. So please remember that. Also, I have a simple belief and I make a plan, you know, in my personal life or my professional life or, um, you know, generally when I'm designing, we've just finished a whole collection. We're going to launch it in the month of April, hopefully. Um, I don't discuss it with everybody. I just, you know, in detail. So try and see if you can avoid that because for some of you, I feel that when you're speaking about it, you might get feedback that might not be something that is going to be supportive enough for you to follow it through. It's possible, right? And that could uh, disappoint you. It, they may not be as excited with this plan, whoever you're speaking to, as you are, right? Okay, so these two coin, uh, these two co uh, coin cards have come. So definitely feminine energy. Queen of coins has come twice. What does this tell you about your... The wealth aspect for the month of April, I'm looking at uh, you being a little more aware of the fact that uh, you have the capacity, you're, you're feeling confident about this, you know, you're quiet about it, but you're feeling confident that I can take care of myself and the people who are dependent on me in terms of money. You will be a little inclined towards going for the pretty stuff, male or female, doesn't matter whoever you are. Uh, the stuff that attracts you or the stuff that pleases people, a beautiful dining set, a lovely little lamp, um, you know, something uh, extravagant. Let's put it like that. Okay. And it's possible that uh, you might not be happy with the purchase later. You might regret it. Um, the idea will be to try and impress. Maybe it's the boss. Maybe it's your friends. Maybe it's your peer group. But it is definitely... Uh, something that you should think about because if you're thinking about saving and then you think about spending well, you're not really saving much are you okay um so remember this okay just don't go for something just because you uh, impulse is not good at this point of time impulsive buyer not very good all right um the last set of cards is relationships so you've pulled out the six of wands again. The five of swords has come twice. My lord. And the five of cups, right? One at a time then. So we'll do the single ones first and the double one later, right? So in relationships, you have definitely won something. It doesn't mean that you won an argument. 
um, but it looks like you have gained something. Some of you may have gained uh, a healthy little and beautiful uh, baby in the house, could be a nephew, niece, uh, maybe somebody has gained recognition, awards, rewards, maybe there is a new member in the family in terms of engagement, marriage, maybe you yourself uh, are in the market and have found someone special uh, in your life. But this is some very good vibe. So whatever this is in your life, uh, congratulations from all of us here at Rakhaina. Enjoy this vibe, don't shy away from it, okay? It's a very good vibe. This is a card that says Five of Cups. You are lack of perception. You are looking at things the wrong way. You're looking at the cups that have fallen down. If you look closely at this card and all the water is draining out and you're like, oh my God, I can't even reach it. What do I do? There are two cups that are beautiful and golden right behind you. Why aren't you turning around and looking there? So you see, the symbology in this is you are supposed to express gratitude for the smallest of things that you have because of which you will get more reasons to be grateful and your vibes will go up. Once your vibes go up, you'll have more and more good things coming towards you. Change your perception and everything in your life will flip and change for the better. So this is a caution card. Be careful, okay? All right, so um, quite a, so five of swords actually means two things. One is, uh, this is the card of humiliation and this is also the card of a hollow victory. So let me start with one of them. Um, it's possible that someone may say something to you that you may not like, that may hurt you, cut you, or make you feel a little, um, well, not so good. Um, embarrassing even now there are two ways to go about it either you confront the person which I would completely advise you not to or you can you know give a smart retort a smart reply which is not everyone's cup of tea instead um, what would I do if I were in your place I would have uh, messaged or called the person later on and said listen I didn't appreciate this I, it really hurt my feelings or I didn't I didn't like this it didn't go, go down well with me I just wanted to tell you that you know a little bit of heads up would have been nice because you completely caught me off guard. Whatever it is, make the point clear that you don't, you are not somebody who can be targeted and made fun of or someone whose leg can be pulled and they are okay with it. That's my point. Don't keep it and let it manifest in you, right? Another meaning of this card is that of hollow victory, which means that you will, you started a journey and in that journey, during that journey, you had a lot of people who were bucking you up, encouraging you, telling you, oh my God, you know, you're doing the right thing. We are with you all the way. And over a period of time, especially now that you have gained ground uh, and gotten your victory, you find that the crowd is thinned out. It's possible that either they have, uh, they feel that you've changed or that you actually have changed, both are possible, and that you've grown apart. If it matters to you, get in touch with them again and say, I'm the same old person or if it doesn't, well, you can't please everyone, right? Let's leave it at that. So remember, when it comes to relationships, we are talking about like, you know, it takes two people to tango. So you can want something, but the other person also has to want it back. So if you're not happy because you want a, the attention of someone, whoever it may be, right? Doesn't have to be a love interest. It can be a family member or anything of that sort. But if you are, uh, if you are in the, in want of, attention from somebody you first have to look within yourself that do you have enough confidence to give yourself that kind of attention because till you don't care about yourself no one else is going to care about you that's a thumb rule of law of attraction take it or leave it it's the truth all right um i hope you enjoyed this reading as much as i enjoyed showing it to you i will see you in the next week uh the last week of april 2024 until then love light and knowledge to you all be at us essay and om sarve bhavantu sukhinam